Hello guys, my name is Christina and I'm here to talk to you about multiple sclerosis and today is going to be my MS story. It all started on a gloomy Russian winter day because all days in Russia are gloomy and it's always winter. It's not true. It was the year of 2008, the year when the world was hit by a huge financial crisis which you may or may not remember and I was just living my best life uh, I went to university, I had dancing classes, I went to nightclubs with my friends and I didn't see anything bad coming my way until one day my mom got really sick and uh, she went to hospital where she spent a few weeks and she died it was obviously a huge stress for me and um, I was trying to get back to normal life and um, uh, so when I I uh, went out with my friends, I started to notice that I couldn't wear heels, like not just high heels, I couldn't wear any heels. My walking was wobbly and unsteady and I was like, what's going on? I actually, before that, I had been wearing flats for a while and I was like, okay, maybe it's because I had been wearing flats and so it's going to be fine. But no, <laughs> week after week and I still couldn't walk in heels. Uh, then I started to experience some bloody issues, then a few months later my fingers went numb and what do people usually do these days? I mean, not these days, it was 12 years ago, but obviously life was pretty much the same. I googled, I googled all of my symptoms and uh, Google <laughs> referred me uh, to a neurologist. I went to uh, the doctor and uh, I told her, why can't I wear high heels? What's going on with me? And she did some tests and she was like, not wearing high heels might not be your biggest problem. You have to do an MRI. Okay, what did I do? I came back home, I googled my symptoms and MRI and uh, I found out that it could be multiple sclerosis. So after I had um, my MRI done, I... Um, read the description and it said that there are some signs of demyelinization and uh, well I, I told i still remember how i told the, the MRI technician oh it looks like a mess to me and that person was like oh, you're crazy you're not a doctor there were like thousands of conditions which might cause demyelinization but i was like yeah but i also have symptoms it's like so it must be a mess so then i went to the doctor and uh, i gave her my mri i told her it looks like a mess to me what do you think uh first she laughed but then she didn't because it was multiple sclerosis so she referred me to an ms specialist and because it was uh, just an onset of a mess uh, he put me on avanex which I don't think it was a good decision because my MS turned out to be pretty active and aggressive but for some weird reason I was on Avanox for 3 or 4 years I think it was about 3 years and I kept having relapses like 3 or 4 relapses every year it was a nightmare and after this I was switched to Rebif but lucky me that year Rebif left Russia and we had some low quality generic which I didn't want to take and then I did something I do not recommend you don't do it I stopped taking any meds because I didn't want to take this generic medication and after this experience my first uh, no, my worst relapse ever I could not walk for three months but I will make a different video about it after this I was put on Capoxone I was on Capoxone for about three or four years I believe after this because I kept having relapses from Capoxone as well. Uh, after this, I was switched to Thai Cyber, which was all very nice to take, but I kept having relapses. And uh, yeah, I was on Thai Cyber for about five years. And, um, and then I was switched to Limtrada. I will make another video about my Limtrada journey, uh, which you hope uh, enjoy, uh, which you hope you will enjoy. And, um, so, but during these 12 years, my MS progressed significantly. My EDSS right now is about 6, uh, 6.5. Well, I want to believe that it's 5.56, but to tell you that to tell the truth, it must be 6, uh, 6.5. Uh, but 
I mean, I do hope that after Limtrade, some symptoms might go back and I might, like my illnesses might get better, maybe five, maybe four, who knows. Uh, so yes, so this is my, my story in a nutshell, but I'm here to stay and I'm going to share more videos with you, more stories, uh, more ways to deal with the mess because like 12 years I do have a lot of experience and I think I kind of uh, <laughs> managed to live a pretty good life. I will share some life hacks with you and also because I am from Russia, uh, maybe it will be interesting for you to compare uh, doctors' approaches in Russia to treating a mess uh, to doctors' approaches in Europe and the USA. Like what your doctors say, what treatment plans they offer, like how hospitals work. It like overall it's the same all over the world, but there's still some differences. Also, just like general life in Russia for a person with multiple sclerosis might be a bit challenging, which I'm also going to share. So I will be happy to get to know you better. So you can share your MS stories and comments. You can ask questions. So maybe there is something you would like to know or just share your opinions. I will be very happy to get to know you and I'll see you in my next video. Hit the bell button and subscribe and See you soon. Have a great day.